in the last video you learn about what is um, ad hoc commands what, how to use ad hoc commands for quick and simple tasks etc so in this video we will talk about what is playbook and how you can create a simple playbook and start practice place are or that set of tasks to execute against host selections from your inventory a playbook is a file containing one or more plays it is important to learn about ansible playbook syntax where spacing and indentation is very critical if you are using visual editors you can get plugins for ansible as it will help on syntax and options but if you are using a cli editor like vim or nano please make sure you are following correct indentation we have a video for uh, configuring your vim editor for editing ansible so watch the video and you will see how to configure your vim editor for editing the yaml file because indentation, indentation and the spacing is very important for editing yaml files a simple uh, extra space will uh, damage your playbook and configuration so please watch the video and you can do it. we are not going through the theories and how to do this uh, if you go through you can see uh, always it start with a three hyphens then the list will start with a hyphen then you have attributes like a key value pairs like attribute one value one let's say you have a ip equal to ip column then the name the value then you can add comments inside your playbook using uh, hash then we are not supposed to use the tab because tab will not be allowed but if you are configuring the vim editor using uh, the tab expansion option you press the tab it will automatically expand to two space or four space based on your configuration so you can use that uh, basically you are not used but yeah, if you configure is good then uh, if you have multiple lines you have more items then you can use the pipe symbol and in the next line entries so let's uh, start with a playbook a simple one and we will start it from scratch so um, we are inside our ansible engine or ansible control node so i create a new directory playbook demo okay we don't have any uh, configuration here so what i will do uh, vim ansible.cfg then i get defaults uh, or we can take it from your existing inventory you can just copy from the the inventory and the configuration file okay let's do that uh, cp um, slash ad hoc and cable.cfg to here cp slash to here you can create it manually but also you can uh, copy from the existing one to save time anyway i will give this uh, uh all the all the files inside the repository so you can just spawn and use it but i strictly recommend to do it by yourself instead of just copy or clone from the repository then only you will learn okay so as i mentioned earlier uh, please make sure you configure the vim otherwise it will be difficult for you to edit the yaml file so we, here if you check i have already done some configuration here uh, i mentioned uh, whatever the file types with the yaml should be set like x and tab then tab stop should be to uh, auto indentation all those things so let's see what is inside so we have to create our first playbook so I just created my first playbook called okay anything you can call anything like I use site or YAML okay now I need to the, give the three hyphen we already learned this is the the basics of playbook starting with three hyphen now I need to give a name this one is not really uh, needed and simple will not show any other but it's strictly recommended or it's the best practice to give the name for the play so this is the play uh, so i give some name let's say i want to install httpd install and configure httpd okay i have the name here if i press you can see i press tab but actually it's a space so i give some uh, host so we have the host called uh, nodes okay i want to install on both nodes See, when I press enter, it's automatically came to the correct position because I configured the Vim editor. Now I need to uh, 
use a become okay because to install we know we have to uh, become the sudo then only we can install the packages or remove packages start services etc so i put become yes you can also configure this become in the configuration but instead i use inside the playbook or you can use inside the task everywhere okay now we have to tell what are the tasks okay so this is a very basic one you give a name you give the you mention the host what are the hosts uh, need to be uh, executed with this job then you mentioned uh, you need to become yes at the ansible need to become sudo to execute these operations okay now we, we use the task again task is the section now we have to tell okay we have to indent again and we put my first task is install httpd and maybe firewall also firewall d okay so i want to install httpd and firewall d so you check the indentation this is a indentation here so i start with a list so this is a list okay and here we start with another section and we start with another list so which is a task list so task then you give the name then you mention the module earlier we used using the add command here use the module then again for the module you again give indentation and you are going to give the arguments so it will say name so what are the names names means the name of the package so you can give httpd let's say if i want to install more than one then you have options like again give another list for this name arguments i put like httpd and firewall d okay if i don't have more than one i can use like this so name httpd then state i put latest latest means install the latest available package that's all so we have httpd installed so since we have two packages i put like if you are installing more than one then put it like httpd then firewall d then if you have git then okay put git like that so this is it so you are you have more options for the yam like um, you, are, you you have more more arguments but this is a very basic one and this is a mandatory one so you give the name of the packages and the state is install the latest one okay let's see so we have ansible then the command is and playbook earlier we used ansible for that hook here we use ansible playbook then site.yaml do we need to mention the inventory no need because we already mentioned the inventory inside the ansible.cfg and ansible will automatically take this okay so we are running our first ansible playbook so it's installing HTTPD and it's installing firewall good it's working uh, we can go and check here sudo system ctl status httpd okay good it's installed but not started firewall d good not started now we have already a playbook to install a package so what is the next step the next step is you have to enable this means you have to start these items start the services httpd and firewall d so we will use some like vim site.yaml so you, you know uh, this is a list of tasks so i have to go back here so you check the indentation properly and another one name enable and start httpd and firewall d so how to enable the http and firewall d so we have a module called service so this is a module for starting stopping enabling the services so what are the uh, arguments so the first argument is name so which service i need to enable of course httpd 
can I uh, give HTTPD and FireWorldy to start? No. Okay, we can go and check here. Uh, Ansible service module. So every time you have doubt or questions, just go and check the module. Okay. No. The name you can see is the name of the service. It's not a list of names. So you can. Um, give only one name and start it or enable it so uh, I use name is HTTPD then enabled equal to true enable true means uh, in Linux if you, you know Linux then uh, it should be started automatically in the next reboot called the enabling uh, the service in the next reboot so if you go and check here whether the service should be started on the boot at least one of the state and enabled or required so we go and check the example okay should be name then the state if you want to put enable of course you put enable and put yes okay enable yes and the state should be started okay good what is happening now okay good now you can see it's installing again no because it says okay means it's already installed nothing to do right so enabling it's changed so here you see the difference install http here changed means it's installed in the previous one now we run the task again on the same node and you can see install http is okay it's not changed means it's already installed nothing to do and enable change means it's already started now we go to the nodes and check Okay, starter, good. Firewall D. Okay, firewall D is not started. Let me see. Oh, sorry. Firewall D, we didn't ask firewall D to start. Okay, what we will do, we will go and enable firewall D also. So, Vim, copy. I will just copy five lines, paste it here, enable and start. Sorry, this one I missed to remove. Okay. Five OD. So here I give five OD. Hope it's clear. So first task I install HTTPD. Second task I start HTTPD. Third task I enable five OD. Okay. Very simple. Now, if we enable firewall, the issue is the firewall will start and you won't be able to do the things like uh, you, you actually you, the HTTP also will be blocked because default only the SSS and some other ports will be opened in firewall. D, you know, right? Let's say if you want to enable HTTP inside that, you have to add another task. So we are adding another task called name. Uh, and open I call it firewall ports so I want to open firewall ports for the HTTPD so here I use another module called firewall D so this is a module for managing the firewall D daemon then we mention service so which service I need to open HTTP it's not HTTPD it's HTTP or HTTPS then permanent yes because uh, yes or true because uh, you want this rule uh, exist all the time then state enable or disable of course enable HTTP need to enable and uh, what will happen if you stop here it will add the firewall load but it will not be effective to if you want to be effective so you are to give immediate and give yes okay good all good now we go here and check the firewall D status is already running okay now we have installed packages enabled firewall D, enabled HTTPD is there any content no right so we can check call node one 
Okay, this is something default content from uh, Apache HTTPD. We don't want this. Instead, we need some content inside the node one. So what we are going to do is very simple. Vim site.yaml. We need to copy some content. So we are starting another task here. Name copy uh, HTML content. You can give any name. There is nothing mandatory. So I use the module copy. Then the arguments. You already learn what are the copy uh, module arguments. If you have doubts, just go back and check here. And say well copy. You can always refer the documentation so you will get a uh, example for your playbook. So here you just need to know okay, there is a source or content, then destination, owner, group, mod. Okay, some other default minimum you should give source, destination, or content and destination. So we will use content here because we don't have a file here. I use content like welcome to uh, our website. Then I put like this is the okay, maybe use um, jar. This is deployed. Using Ansible code now and the destination okay if you you should know the destination right if uh, for html uh, or sorry for the H apache http the default one is a uh, var http sorry var www html slash index dot html so we go here and check if you have any file here cat etc HTML. Now files, okay. Let's just here. Okay, nothing here. Okay, now we are going to deploy this uh, HTML content inside the word www.html index. Here you can use any methods like you can clone from the git, you can copy a rep repository itself, or you can. Uh, Unarchive some uh, extract and unarchive some zip file to deploy your website. Anything for our easiness for because we, we are learning. We just give a simple content and the destination. Okay, let's do this. Run the playbook again. Okay, seems good. No issues. We go and check here. Okay, there is a file. Okay, the content is correct. Now we can try here, node one. Good. What about node two? Good. Okay. Um, that's it actually. Now we have installed started services open firewall it's very simple playbook still we have done a lot of things right uh, it's not yet now if you check uh, our playbook i'm just explaining again so start with the hyphen it's not mandatory but it's, yeah this is a practice and start with the first playbook so until here this is one play okay remember this is a play and from here to here is the list of tasks under this ta under the play and under the play let's say we have deployed this one and as part of the automation we want to verify whether the server is working or not so how to test that one so we have already executing this host uh, uh, playbook against nodes so inside the nodes we know node 1 and node 2 is there now we need to test whether it's executed, uh, whether the playbook is um, executed properly and the server is deployed. Now we tested using the call command, it's everything manually. I want to automate that. So we have to do like adding another play called this is a new play. So you remember the indentation. So what is the name? Okay, test and verify. 
uh, web servers okay host are we going to log into the node no we are going to ex uh, check the website from this ansible engine or another node right so i don't want to use that so i use local host means on the same node i don't need to log in then uh, become need no become no need because you are just doing the curl command or something like that now we mention the task so what is our task so for the task again you see this task is under this play and this task is under this second play okay so for the name i use like connect to the web server okay so how to verify so for the verification we have a module called uri so this uri module will uh, call the web url and return the results with status code like uh, success or fail redirect or whatever it is if you have a question on that one just go here Sybil uri module just see the examples okay so you need to pass the url and the return content is yes means if you want to return the content or you just want to get the status code so you can mention the status code so we know for the successful it should be status code should be 200 uh, this is not ansible topic this is a normal web topic so i have to give like a url so this is a url of course it's a http slash slash node one or you can if you have more than one i have to use both so i just try only node one here status underscore code should be 200 if i don't give 200 ansible will still uh, run if i mention status code 200 means this task i should get 200 uh, then only the task will success will be successful that's all okay now we have to make sure our inventory contain a lot of no okay myself i just add a localhost and i also tell ansible so this is another thing ansible connection equal to local means ansible doesn't need to use ssh to log into this localhost because it's a local so i mentioned ansible connection is equal to local now you execute ansible playbook site.yaml good good everything okay means it's already there nothing to do when the file content is there and you see the status of the last one connect to the server it's okay it's working means it's good let's see if you want to make error i use node 3 here because node 3 is not there try again the nodes one node one node two or tasks are okay because not changes and we see the last task okay see uh started code uh was minus one and not 200 so of course it's failed because not three is not reachable or yeah like that <sighs> okay this is how you can check so hope you have some idea on how to verify uh, the web servers and also you know how you can create a uh, simple playbooks so you have um, and this is a we started with a simple single play playbook but we have more than one play inside this same playbook and um, that's it uh, for the playbook part and hope you have some idea on the playbook so just start practicing create your playbooks try to do something what you are doing it manually so installation or copying files or restarting the services or anything like that so hope you got some idea on the ansible playbook and uh, see you next time with another video uh, you can see the full play full uh, playlist of this youtube uh, ansible series in the description of this video thank you for watching see you next time with another video